Gaga getting into character, strutting the cobblestone streets of Milan in a T-length polka dot dress and in all black with a matching headpiece as she slips into a red sports car. The fashion does not slow down as Gaga, alongside a line of Vespas, looks European chic in a patterned headscarf and a tan coat. The clothing will probably be like its own character. And then when you have Lady Gaga wearing those clothes, you know we're going to be in for a treat. Like the book it's based on, House of Gucci promises murder, madness, glamour, and greed. Variety's Elizabeth Wagmeister explains the true story ripped from the headlines. Maurizio and Patricia, they met in their early 20s, and they were the it couple. Around the time that Maurizio had sold off the company for $150 to $200 million, that's when their long divorce was finally settled. Patricia was getting just $1 million per year for their settlement. And to add more fuel to the fire, he also ended up with another woman who was younger than Patricia. In March 1995, Maurizio was shot down while entering his office in Milan. Patricia became the lead suspect after a hotline tip came in that linked a socialite to a hitman. Patricia ended up being convicted for arranging the murder of her ex-husband, Mauricio Gucci, and she was sentenced to 29 years, but she ended up serving 16 years behind bars. And to this day, she has always maintained her innocence. Leonardo DiCaprio was previously tapped to star in the film adaptation, and names like Angelina Jolie, Penelope Cruz, and Margot Robbie were all reportedly in talks to play Patrizia before Gaga sealed the role. That fits her like a snug red ski suit. Lady Gaga is absolutely the perfect choice to star in the role of Patricia because it really is a character that is so unbelievable and larger than life. And that's what Gaga does all the time.